This is called the Walk Through Time. I'm here at Florissant National Park. It says here, remember, two inches equals one million years. Today, 16 million years ago, the first humans. 35 million years ago, redwoods live in the Florissant Valley. 65 million years ago, dinosaurs are ext extinct. Age of mammals begins. Let's see what we have over here. Looks like we have another sign. 200 million years ago, age of the dinosaurs begin. Oh. So every two inches we're walking is a million years. According to this trail here. 250 million years ago, the earliest land animals, they call them amphibians. 400 million years ago, the first insects and first land plants. I wonder where they came from. 480 million years ago, first primitive fish. Wow. So, so many statements. I wonder where their evidence is. I wonder who was there to see the first primitive fish 480 million years ago. I wonder where they came from. And here we are in the fluorescent valley. Flarsen. Uh, there's a valley, but there's a little lake, old lake bed here or something, and lots of little dry grasses. But out there, there are stone redwoods, petrified redwoods. They have, I think they said it was 1,700 different species of fossils found in, fossilized insects and animals found in here, this area. Uh, I believe they said there are 2,700 different layers that they thought were silt layers on this in this old lake bed here, if it is a lake bed. There's a lot of shale, and then on top of the all the shale, there's some limestone. On below the shale and limestone, there's mudstone. And on top of that, there's this cap of volcanic rock that supposedly sealed all this in. Here we are at the next sign. Took me about a minute and a half to walk over here. Three billion years ago, first fossils from algae, fungi, bacteria, abundant. Looks like there's another sign over here. Let's go see if we can see what it says. Walking down the trail through time. And let's see what this sign says. 3. Point, I don't want to give it away. 3.5 billion years ago, life on Earth begins. Wow, that's quite a statement. I wonder how they know that. I wonder how they know that. I wonder if they have dating methods that go all the way back to 3.5 billion years ago. Interesting. I wonder who was there to tell them that. Looks like there's one more sign up there. I'm going to sign off though, because I don't think I want to walk that far. Here I am with the uh, sign, the first sign here. 4.57 billion years ago, Earth begins. Interesting. I wonder how they prove that. I wonder how they prove that so the taxpayer money pays to have this put here. How do they know that's true? Here we are in the prairies, kind of high prairie of Colorado. And you can see uh, it's pretty dry in the wintertime. It can get to be 
as low as minus 37 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm sorry, minus 35 degrees Fahrenheit here. And this whole area here used to be a redwoods forest. And you wonder how in the world that could be. Here's a uh, huge petrified wood redwood stump. Then I want to show you this sign here. It's kind of interesting. If I can focus in on that. This sign says, The Rocky Mountain region was once warmer. 34 million years ago, summers were wet and the winters mild. The fluorescent region, that's the place we're in the fluorescent, was forested with towering redwoods, cedars, pines, and mixed hardwoods and ferns. Streams flowed through the valley. Insects, birds, mammals, and fish all thrived in this environment. Fossils, fossil leaves serve as an ancient thermometers for reading the temperature of the past. By comparing fossil plants with modern vegetation, scientists estimate the mean annual temperature at the fluorescent during the this late Eocene was about 56 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 degrees Celsius, similar to San Francisco today. Uh, interesting here, it says that that uh, these warmer temperatures never no longer exist, and that the plants uh, adapted became extinct or dispersed to other parts of the earth. So you have to wonder how a plant could disperse itself to another part of the earth. Uh, that's interesting. But anyway, uh, that's, if you look at this with a biblical worldview, uh, let me just read this again. The Rocky Mountain region was once warmer. About 4,500 years ago, God sent a massive flood that uh, changed the environment here. And after the flood, the layer of water that was in the sky uh, that protected the earth and kept a fairly uh, normal climate throughout the earth was gone and the climate became extreme. And the reason why we have fossilized moths here and fossilized uh, <clears throat> leaves and fossilized wasps is because in the flood there's m there are massive mudslides coming through here. Massive movement of earth which uh, buried quickly rapidly bury these life forms. Uh, it's difficult to find a moth uh, fossil because they're so fragile and obviously they would decay before they became, got a chance to fossilize so they have to be rapidly buried. Okay, so these three fossilized redwood trees are growing out of or grew out of a big one trunk according to the sign here. Pretty amazing that here in Again, in the desert, high desert, well, I guess it's more of the high plains of Colorado. Here's a big redwood stump, fossilized. And then you look up here, beside that's mudstone. And then up above it's shale. There's another type of rock at the very top there. So that would indicate to me that the uh, this redwood was buried quickly in Noah's flood.